Hey guys, now in this video, let's discuss VNet integration for Azure function. Now imagine we have our SQL database in VNet. That means we cannot connect to this SQL database from Azure function. It's because only resources from the same VNet, they can connect to this SQL DB. And obviously our function app, it is not a part of this VNet. So our function app cannot connect to this SQL DB. And for that we have to use VNet integration. So with VNet integration, our function app now can access VNet resources. That means now our function app can connect to this SQL DB. And now let's see the demo. Now we will keep this demo simple. So we have a VM in VNet and we have a web API hosted in this VM. So from this VNet, that is from this VM, second guys, this VM, it is part of VNet. So from this VM or VNet, we can call this web API using private IP of VM. But we cannot call this web API using private IP of VM from our Azure function. See guys, what I mean is, see guys, this is our VM and we are in IIS. And we have hosted this employee API in IIS, right? Now, this is that API. And you see, I can access this API using this IP. See, this is the private IP of this VM. So here, if I say refresh, yes, it works. And I can also access this API using local host. Yes, it also works. So basically, from this VM itself, we can call this API using the private IP of this VM itself. In fact, from any other resource from the same VNet, we will be able to access this API using the private IP of this VM. But again, we cannot call this web API using private IP of VM from Azure function. And so we will use VNet integration. And now our function app will be able to access this API. So guys, again, just for simplicity, we are keeping it simple. But in real time, you can imagine that now with VNet integration, our function app will be able to access SQL database in VNet. And now let's see the demo. So guys, we are in Azure and this is our VNet, right? And under this, I have created two subnets. That is subnet, that is my subnet and my subnet 2. Now we have created a VM in this my subnet. And we have created this my subnet to to create vnet integration from azure function to this vnet okay now this is our vm it's a windows machine and again you can see it is a part of this virtual network and subnet right now let's connect to this vm so obviously we can go here connect you can say connect and you can download rdp file and then we have connected to this vm using rdp and again, as I have shown earlier, we have hosted this API project in this VM. So, here if I say refresh, yes, it works. And again, this 10.0.0.4, this is a private IP of VM. And again, this works as well, right? Now, see guys, this is our Azure function. And if you observe, this is flex consumption plan. See guys, not in every plan vnet integration is supported so you have to go with flex consumption or premium okay so we have flex consumption and you you see in this function app we have this function that is get customers okay let's open it and i will say get function url and guys basically the code in this function see i will show you the code see here we are trying to call that API hosted in that VM and you, you observe we are trying to call it using the private IP of that VM. So obviously now it will not work because this function app it does not know where is this private IP that is 10.0.0.4 right. So obviously it will fail. So let's try that. So we can simply copy this and let's run it in incognito mode. Now of course it's not going to work. Now let's actually see the live logs as well. So we can just close this and I can click on logs. 
and basically here we should see that exception that there is an error in that API and see it's still running and it's not gonna work and yes we have got the error and and here also we got error 500 right and now obviously to fix it we have to create vnet integration so let's just close this and again we are in our function app left hand side under settings let's click on networking and see guys virtual network integration it's not configured so let's configure it i'll say add vnet integration let's select our virtual network and from this subnet let's select this my subnet 2 and i'll say connect so we have added virtual network integration for our azure function so again in simple words now this azure function can access the resources from this vnet now is one more thing you have to do is see we are back in our vm and you have to go to this firewall so basically you can just click on start you can say firewall let's open it and see this public network so as of now you have to set it to off okay let's just close this and now if we try to call our function again it should work and now let's try that now guys on a safer side i will close this window and i will open new incognito window so let's just close this now let's hit that url and let's say enter and see now it has worked so that means now our function app can access vnet resources and guys in real time you will use this feature mostly to connect to your sql db which is hosted in vnet so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening